I've seen a lot of messed up things in D&D. A lot of scary things, a lot of horrifying things, and everything in between over the past 20 plus years of playing this game. But what I'm looking at right now, it um, is definitely at least in my top five. A lot of you know that I have a series called Dungeon Master Therapy, which is a skit about a Dungeon Master that's going through some trauma with his players, or maybe just the Dungeon Master's coming up with over-the-top and ridiculous shit that he's throwing against his players. One of those videos is called The Toxic DM, which is about a DM who created a creature called Beholdemot, which is the love child of Xanathar and Tiamat. Now, I did not step a hold of myself, but somebody else in our Discord server did, and that was, is the word. Is the, I get it, because you have an angry bird as your profile picture, and is the word is next to your name, like the bird is the word. I see what you did there. Anyways, is the word from our Discord server decided it was a good idea to actually stat out Behold a Mod. I haven't looked at the entire thing in depth on my own. I have seen bits and pieces of it, and what I have seen, it is, um... It's not f***ing right. It shouldn't f***ing exist. But it does. So we're gonna look at it together. So we have Beholdemot. Gargantuan Fiendberation. Chaotic Evil. AC 25, HP 825, Speed 60, Fly 120, Strength, Dex, Con, Int, Wisdom, Charisma. All of this that I looked at looks like it's very similar to Tiamat's stat block. Um, between the saving throws and the uh, skills and the immunities. They look very, very similar, so... Uh, damage immunity is bludging, piercing, slashing, uh, damage for non-magical, acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison. Uh, condition immunity is blind, charm, deaf, and frightened poisons, prone and stun, dark vision, and those common, deep speech, or chronic, and fertile, under common, and a CR 30. Um, that's the main bulk of what I've looked at on my own so far. Um, I did take a peek and I saw that I know some spells, multiple heads, um, but let's look at the rest of it. And anti-magic cone. Anti-magic cones! Wait a minute. Each of Beholdemot's central eyes creates a start of an area of anti-magic, as in the anti-magic field spell, in a 150-foot cone at the start of each of its turns. At the start of each of its turns, the Beholdemot decides which way each of the cones face and whether the cone is active. It has five anti-magic cones. That's f***ing rude. Destructive Rebirth. What's this? When Beholdemot drops to zero HP or dies, it violently explodes in a 360-foot radius sphere of violent elemental and psionic energy center on its body. Each creature in the area must make a DC 28 con saving throw, taking 22 D8 acid, 24 D6 lightning, 33 D6 poison, 39 D6 fire, 24 D8 cold, and 54 D4 psychic damage on a failed save or half as much on the successful one. If at least a thousand total hit points worth of damage is dealt this way, the Beholdemot instantly revives at maximum hit- Holy shit! That's a lot of damage. Freedom of movement, that makes sense. Legendary resistance 5 a day, that makes sense. Limited magic immunity of 6 level spells or lower, that makes sense. That's just like Tiamat, I believe. Magic weapons, Beholdemot's weapons attacks are magical. Well, that makes sense. If it explodes with that much magical damage and has anti-magic cones, it only makes sense that its weapon attacks are magical. Uh, let's go over to multiple heads. Beholdemot can make one reaction per turn rather than one per round, just like Tiamat, as advantage of saving throws against being knocked unconscious. Beholdemot regains 50 hit points at the start of his turn for regeneration. Siege monster, that also makes sense. Innate spellcasting, what spells does Beholdemot know? Bones of the Earth, Earthquake, Storm of Vengeance, Divine Word, Dominate Person, Mass Suggestion, Wall of Fire, Chaos, Planner Binding, Feeble Mind, Power Word Kill, and Power Word Stun. It's a lot. Actions. Beholdemot can use its frightful presence and it makes four attacks. Two with its claw, one with its tail, one with its bite using one of its heads. Bite. Plus 19 to hit. 32 average damage, which is 40, 10, plus 10, plus... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so each of the heads that it bites with, because they're different beholder heads that are different color beholder heads, wow, do different types of elemental damage. So there's a black one that does acid, there's a blue that does lightning, there's a green that does poison, a red that does fire a white that is cold, and then um, an additional 3d6 psychic damage. Oh, okay, so you're getting hit with piercing damage, elemental damage, and a psychic type of damage. Uh, claw, 28 average, 48 plus 10 slashing. Tail, 40, 10 plus 10 of its large or smaller, okay, strength saving throw, knock prone, that makes sense because of the tail. Eye raise, Beholdemot shoots five of the following, wait a minute, the Beholdemot shoots five of the following magical eye rays at random. Do not re-roll duplicates. Re do not re-roll du- re Do not re-roll duplicates. Choosing one to five targets it can see within range. Hold on a minute. Shoots five of the following magical eye rays at random. That's... Wow. Okay. Charm ray, paralyzing ray, fear ray... Slowing Ray, Enervation, Telekinetic, Sleep, Petrification, Disintegration, Death Ray, Telepathic, 
and chromatic ray. So these are literally beholder eye rays that each of the heads have. And as an action, each head can shoot one ray at random. Holy f***. Moving on, Frightful Presence, that makes sense because I am terrified just reading the stat block. Oh, and it has a breath weapon attack. Beholder mod exhales elemental energies tainted in the power of the far realms for all five of its heads and a 180 foot cone. Each creature in the area must make a con saving throw or take 15d8 acid, 16d10 lightning, 22d6 poison, 26d6 fire, 16d8 cold, and 32d4 psychic damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Uh, legendary actions. Behold him, I can take five legendary actions, choosing from the options below. Bites. Makes a single bite. That makes sense. Eye Ray. Of course. Why the f*** wouldn't it be able to shoot an Eye Ray as a legendary actions when it can literally shoot five on its turn if it wanted to? Acid Breath. Lightning Breath. Poison Breath. Fire Breath. Cold Breath. Psychic Pulse. This thing's f***ing horrifying. But those are his main attacks. You have its stat block, which is gross. The anti-magic cones, destructive rebirth, freedom of movement, legendary resistances, limited magic immunity, magic weapons, uh, the spell cast and siege monster, all these crazy attacks, the literal five eye beams it can shoot as an action on its turn, and all these legendary actions. But that's not it, folks. There's more. Oh, there's more. This thing also has layer actions. Beholder can cast one of his spells at will. 1d4 spectral beholders and a spectral adult chromatic dragon color chosen at random appear in a random unoccupied space within 500 feet of the beholder moth last for 10 minutes these spectral creatures have the same stat block as a normal specimen of their type but only have the 10th of their hit points and vanish from reduced to zero hp the spectral creature roll their own initiative are friendly with the beholder moth and obey its commands to the best of their abilities so not only does this thing of all this HP, the HP, all the ability, shoots all these eye rays, knows a bunch of spells. It can also summon more beholders and dragons at the top of initiative. 100 foot square area of the ground becomes slimy. It becomes difficult terrain. It's not horrible. Uh, walls within 300 feet of beholder mod sprout gasping appendages, grasping appendages until initiative count 20. And then, okay, that's just like a beholders thing. Okay. Uh, 1d4 eyes open up on solid surfaces uh, within 120 feet of beholder mod. One random eye ray the beholder mod shoots from each of the target of the beholder mod's choice. The eye then closes and disappears. This thing is, it's a monstrosity. It is horrifying. And if you add friends before you use this, you probably won't after you use it. Well, there it is, folks. That's Behold Amat. If you have a party that is overpowered and just rampaging through everything that you throw their way and you're looking for a solution, or maybe they just want to fight something that is completely overpowered and dangerous, then here's your here's your fix. It's available in our Discord in the DM therapy section of the Discord if you want to use it. Thanks again to uh, Is The Word, Bird Is The Word. Uh, for for making this I'm both horrified I'm gonna have nightmares and I'm so sorry to the adventuring party that will probably and inevitably probably face this thing with that being said everybody make sure you like and sub and I will see you next time here on the cast. I'm gonna go to bed now